Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Happy June 1st. I hope that you are well. I hope you are blessed, girl. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And listen, if not, bitch, there's always June 2nd or June 3rd or June 4th, okay? So don't put so much pressure on yourself, all right? Okay, I see you. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today, so grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful because we have to talk. Listen, bitch, another day, another Justin Bieber video going viral. Listen, girl, every single damn day, there's a damn video going viral. And you know what it is? It is actually so interesting. I'll tell you something. It is so interesting to see the different types of... Um, uh, uh, like uh, w w opinions and different types of thoughts and, and, and how people perceive things because everyone is so different, right? But like some people take it like very far, you guys. So there's a video going around um, of Justin Bieber and how he is with Haley and how he was with Selena. And you guys know that I keep it real on my channel. So I'm gonna play you guys the video because we do have to talk about this for a second. All right, so listen, I have quite a lot to say about this. Um, I understand why people do this. I Like, I get it because it comes from a place where people want to remind people of certain things or they want to make someone, see, you know, look bad. In this case, Haley, you know, I get all of this. But, like, I find, like, these type of videos, and that's why I chose to make this video, is because I find that the ty these type of videos, they're, they're very, I would say they're very dangerous for people's mental health. And I'm talking, you know, first of all, about Selena Gomez as well. You know, I'm Team Selena all the way, girl. Um, I feel that I don't think Selena Gomez has the best memories of Justin. You know, there's a lot of rumors about that he allegedly cheated on her multiple times. He treated her like shit. It was a very toxic relationship. Um, also, there's rumors that she treated him like shit. They were both very young. They didn't know how to manage such a huge thing. And honestly, you guys, when you have a, when you have like a young relationship and then you have to add fame, I don't blame it. Like, I mean, it was gonna go to hell regardless you know what i mean because you have the pressure of the whole world watching you you have you know the pressure of tour of spending time apart of being young of growing of of not being fully you know matured not being fully you know your 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 mind is not fully there yet i mean like you're processing how to be famous earning millions and also in a relationship with you know the biggest the biggest uh, kid in, 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 in the world, and then you have, you know, the biggest Disney girl in the world as well. So you put them together, it's gonna add chaos, right? Um, there's fans who believe Selena Gomez treated Justin like shit. There's fans who believe Justin treated Selena Gomez like shit. I think one thing that we can all agree is all my Justin fans, all my Selena fans, I think the one thing that we can agree, girl, is I think they're better off separate you know i think that they're better off separate now a lot of people are you know sparking concern and bringing up the past because of justin bieber right now and because he is not very well right now and you could tell something is very off you can tell his mental health is is hurting um you know and and, and people who are in denial say but it's just because of the paparazzi I think that we've seen enough to understand that there's definitely something not right here. And I think that it has to, I mean, something has to happen, you know, for, for him to like get help or like heal or whatever it is that he needs to do. Um, and, 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 and now let's talk about public displays of, a t of, a, of affection, okay? We have to talk about this. Are you into public displays of affection? Let me know in the comments. I'm not a big, huge public display of affection person when I'm when I'm out and about with my husband, and I've never been with boyfriends. Like I've never, I I don't know why. I feel like I feel like those people who 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 promote their relationship so much and they're so eager to to have everybody watch them kiss and hug and hold and make out and be always on top of each other. I think, I I mean. 
I, I think there's some kind of insecurity there. I mean, of course, I know sometimes you want to hug your 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 love and you want to you want to squeeze your boo and you want to hold hands and stuff. But like when you go to like, for example, right? And if this is one of you guys, this is no shade, okay? Please don't take this offensively. But you know when you go to like Disney or Universal or Six Flags and you're waiting in line for like an hour or two and there's that one couple that is just like on top of each other. Like recently my best friend took me to Disneyland and we were there and we were gonna go on the Ferris wheel. There was this couple in front of us, you guys. And I'm not kidding you. It, I have never seen something like this in my life. So he was on his phone. She was on his back like this, like hanging on to him, like if he was the fucking ride. And then she proceeded, and they were a young couple. She then proceeded to like mm, grab her finger and poke his backside down there, if you know what I mean. And then proceeded to like put her tongue in his ear. And I'm like, girl, you don't want to be in Disneyland, girl. You you need to go to a hotel, bitch, because damn, you, you, Mickey Mouse got you turned on, boo. Mickey Mouse got the hormones racing, honey, because damn, who goes to Disney and thinks of sex? I'm sorry, but this is just team way too much. But anyways, they were all over each other. And I was just telling my best friend, I was just like, if that was my husband, I would literally like throw him, I, I, I couldn't, I would throw him off the damn fair as well. I can't do the, the always touching, always, because if you... I, I don't know, right? So, you know, but that's not the case for what we've seen with Justin and Haley. What we see with Justin and Haley is a lot of, like, you know what I mean? Like, it feels like he just, like, sometimes doesn't want. Of course, there's pictures of them, you know, holding each other and holding hands and stuff and kissing and stuff. But a lot of people put those pictures and say it's, you know, publicity stunts. Um... I feel that I get why people compare and I think that the believers are entering a moment in their lives where um, they're very concerned for Justin, you know, and, and I, I share that concern. For example, you know, I my 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 number one is is Brittany and, you know, there has always been that kind of worry and concern, uh, you know. So I, I fully understand that. Um, but I think that maybe bringing up and making these type of their videos go viral and, and comment and, and kind of, you know, tag them and say, you know, because a lot of people are like, Justin, please go back to Selena. Look how happy you were. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just worried that if he sees this, like he, he sees a happier time in his life, what that's going to do to his mental health. You know what I mean? And... I just, I always want to think the best and I always want to think like the good in people and, 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 and I always want to think good vibes and stuff. But just from what I am seeing with him, I, I, I don't think he's in a great space. And I think that maybe seeing a, a video of, of him in a, in a really good space can trigger something. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not a freaking psychologist or whatever it's called. But um, I could just you know, I could just guess. And I think Selena is doing so much work on herself. And I think that also, you know, going back to them being so young and being so famous, I think they sort of felt that pressure as well to, to seem picture perfect, you know? And I think that's definitely something to, to consider. And just because you're team Selena or team Justin or even team Haley, it doesn't mean that we cannot all get along. I feel like as long as we want the best for our favorites and we are respectful, I don't see why we're always in wars. But if you come for Selena Gomez, girl, oh no, we're going to have an issue. Okay, boo. That's just point blank, period. But I feel like we can all be respectful to one another. I think that... Um, me as a Selena Gomez fan, I'm definitely concerned for Justin and I'm not even a fan of him. I'm just seeing him as a human being and that something is definitely not up there. Um, but anyways, going back to the couple of Disney girl, I, I forgot to tell you one bit. Girl, when we were in line, we had to go with them, right? Because we, we were two and there were two, right? So they put us both in like the thing, right? But before that, she grabbed her hand and did this and just did that to his private area. This was all happening in front of us, you guys. 
it was like a full on fucking show. She didn't know what to do to this man, licking his ear, sticking her tongue in his ear, poking his eyeball, poking his backside, punching his, <laughs> I'm like, girl, is that a form of foreplay? Because this man is gonna be all bruised and, and, and everything. And you know what he would do? He would giggle. All we would see him do is hee 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 hee. I was just like, girl, this is Disney World, okay, bitch? This is not Hustler. I don't know where the fuck. Damn, it was so it was so crazy to see something in Disney World. Like, who goes to Disney World and does these things? Anyways. Um, I just had to finish my Disney World story, but you know what? We got in the Ferris wheel together and we actually had a really good time with them because they were laughing. They were, but I was just like, girl, two seconds ago, you were like punching this man's penis. Like, girl, what the hell? It's like, I, I'm in my, like, a dream is a wish. You're like Snow White fucking sitting around. This girl's over there, like fucking poking his everywhere. Girl, anyways. Um, I don't know, bitch. Whatever floats your boat, girl. Anyways. Um, I love you all so much. Uh, what do you guys think of these type of videos? Do you think that Justin secretly watches like his time with Selena Gomez? Let me know in the comments. I feel like it's not nothing different than, than anyone who, who, who has an ex that, you know, played such an important role in their life, but I don't know, bitch. Anyways, I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.